petrified wood nice and hot. Let's dump it. Beautiful. This is a good fire for our fish. So I'm gonna grab a stick to stir this around evenly. So right here we have our codfish wrapped in plastic. First you want to cut them out. They're nice and thawed out, they came frozen. And before I cook them, I have some Apple cider vinegar right here. Have some Old Bay seasoning. And this is salt water. Well, water I'm gonna add more salt to. And of course, we got some black pepper. So, I want this to kind of do a little bit of a marinade. Marinade. I want to marinate inside of some apple cider vinegar, which I'm pouring on right now. Nice amount. I want to add some more salt water to that as well. But first, I'm going to put some more salt. I have some kosher salt right here. Put some salt into my water. Let's see, you know, you want to put me like three or four tablespoons of it. Stir it up. And pour a little bit of that on top. Just so that the fish is covered. Because you, you want that to soak. And while that's soaking, I'm gonna go gather some basil. Gather some basil and some lemon balm. Right, let's get to that. I have my lemon balm plant right here. So I'm just gonna gently snap some leaves off. If you have a scissor, feel just as welcome to use that as well, but just gently snapping them off will do the trick. So for about three fish, you might want eight or nine leaves of lemon balm. And there's a nice big one right here. We arrived here at the basil plant. We have these beautiful basil leaves to pull up here. Um, and these are larger than the lemon balm leaves, so I'm gonna get about maybe six of these. Again, you just snap them right off very easily. So right now the fish has been marinating in my apple cider vinegar brine. As far as looking hot, I'm gonna put some burgers on there, but those aren't of my interest right now. So let's get these on here. I'm gonna season them up while they're on the grill. My favorite go-to ingredient for fish, of course, is Old Bay. Sprinkle some of that on there. Mmm, it's 
nice and orange now. Get my black pepper seasoning on there. Just got a couple of twists. My favorite kind of black pepper is definitely the mill peppers. That way you, the pepper just tastes the freshest when it's crushed right by a small pepper mill like this one here. I did season both sides of the fish the same way you saw me season the first side. So now that this side is starting to cook really well, well it has cooked really well on this side, I want to put some butter on top of that. Let me show you how it's done. So I'm gonna get some of these, uh, this basil and um, lemon balm on top of this. Mosquitoes trying to hunt me down. Might not need as much as I picked, but get as much as I can on there while this smoke kind of just burned my eyes. Ah! <laughs> But lemon balm gives it a, a nice lemony flavor. And it's just delicious and fresh. I love it so much. All right, now it's time to add some butter. Just any normal butter would do. So, just take your butter knife, get the slice on and... Just put it right on top. The larger the fish, I mean, the more butter you might need. So, I wanna give two to that piece of fish there. And the small one in the back, I think I'll just give it one slice of butter. That should do. Right there in the center. Mmm, that's good. One extra one for good luck. <laughs> Beautiful. So right now, right now this fish is looking beautiful. I would say that it's pretty done, in my opinion. So, I'm gonna let it cook for a second longer. Then I'm gonna take it off this fire. So it gets seared, I'm gonna take off this fire and give it the final taste test. It's beautiful, oh my God. So right now we're in the great outdoors at night. Just finished some late afternoon, evening bar barbecuing, and we have a delicious piece of codfish. I'm just gonna eat this caveman style. No fork, no knife, just take a bite. So here we go, let's do this taste test. Mmm, wow. That's beautifully done. It's juicy, succulent, you can see it's just dripping. The juiciness, it's very good. Codfish is not the best fish for grilling, but when it's done right, it can still be very delicious. Try that at home, let me know how you like it. Leave a comment, like, Subscribe. Love you guys. See you next episode. Enjoy your day. Meanwhile. Oh, shit. I broke it. Taking all the